And the key point is that it is not enough to say that he is not really mad, that it is merely the narrow, ignorant society which puts him in this position. In a certain way, being treated as a madman, being excluded from the social big other, effectively equals being mad. I wish I could be there. Laughing, playing cards. Yes, but what's that got to do? Are you all cozy with the windows up and the fire crackling? Well, then, what's Sounds that? great. Sounds great. Being excluded I from the social wish I could big be other. There. Effectively equals Cozy being mad. With the windows up and a fire crackling. Well, then, what's sounds that? great. Sounds great. I can see it building up to the west. There's some clouds there, and I saw one of them kind of rip apart at the top. Great. I, I wish I could be there. Effectively equals so being mad. Almost the same. I feel almost the same. But they're different. I mean, we sit here in this room while a thousand people are dying all over the world. Smell almost. Alan, what the sounds great. Sounds the worst. Great. There's some clouds I, I there. I wish I could be there. I saw one of them kind of rip apart at the top. What's that? That? Well, that's the voices of thousands killed in a typhoon. They feel almost the same. When a screen intervenes between ourselves and the real, it always generates a notion of what is in itself, beyond the screen of the appearance, so that the gap between appearance and the in itself, so that the gap between appearance and the in itself is always already for us. They smell almost the same. They feel almost the same. Great. I, I wish I could be there. I, I wish I could be there. I mean, we sit here in this room while a thousand people are dying all over the world. Cozy with the windows up and a fire crackling. Alan, what sounds the... great? Sounds. Consequently, if we subtract from the thing the distortion of the screen, we lose the thing itself. Thank <laughs> you.